Hello, my friends. How are you? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I am here with another month of hashtag scraps to treasures. This is an open collaboration hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and Maria from Maria's Miscellany. I will have both of their channels linked down below, as well as my playlist for all of my other hashtag scraps to treasures I've done so far. So this month we are doing belly bands, which I'm really excited about because I've not made that many belly bands, to be honest. So for some inspiration, I watched Barbara at 49 Dragonflies for her um, Defemember video with belly bands, and I think it was like magazines. So I've got some strips of paper out and oh and i will have her her video for those linked down below i really don't have a journal in mind for these yet but i want to make at least two vertical ones and like two sideways or <laughs> sideways horizontal ones you know what i mean so i think about my height usually in my journals is about seven inches so I'm just going to cut those down to about seven and then across. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure how wide to me or whatever to make these. So I'm just going to do about, about four inches. So these are the four I'm going to do just with some scrap wallpaper and paper. So I want to dig in my box of scraps and when I was peeking around in there there's a lot of smaller pieces at the bottom but those are mostly like book pages but I don't really know how I want to do it if I just want to just grab and just you know without any rhyme or reason which I kind of want to do that <laughs> because because of just kind of making it through some of these scraps like that, that I think she had tore hers down into um, like squares and stuff but we'll try to work with some of these that I've pulled out so far but also um, I want to try and include pieces of some doily and some tracing paper maybe we'll kind of see how they start to look so let's just start with one so i know barbara had used tape i don't want to use tape so i'm just going to use a little bit of glue stick just to get them stuck to this and i am going to sew uh, the papers down too I really like how that looked and then I want to do some uh, some gold splatters maybe so I'm already kind of liking this <laughs> this so far maybe I can go ahead and just get some ripped up this like yellowish vibe is really pretty and do some doily pieces I've got this here let's just use this okay so to put them down on this I'm just going to just do a little bit of glue on the back and not sure how far off the paper I want to go. Oh, I gotta rip up some of that tracing paper too. Oh gosh. Went everywhere. I just thought the tracing paper would just be kind of an interesting texture on this. Definitely have to put something on top of it though. Oh, 
I like that so far. Just put a touch of glue underneath that. I think she had kind of like layered them all. I'm not really concerned. I just kind of want to see ooh, how it looks. Just kind of like a little crazy. You don't want so much of that doily. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay. For this. Coffee dyeing paper. That's really cute. That's going to look super cute. Kind of sewn down. And that went way better than I expected it to. <laughs> Sometimes you just never know until you try, right? I feel like I kind of overestimated how much paper I would need for these. Because I'm not, you know, not really using a ton I feel like I'm going to put something up there too. Maybe just a little piece of this. Love it. But I'm going to go ahead and get these other two done and I will bring you back. Okay, I've got all four done. And <laughs> they look so cool. I love them so much so far. So I am going to go ahead and get them sewn down. Okay, I've got them all sewn. They look so cool. It took forever to trim all of the threads off. <laughs> Especially on this one because I kind of went a little nuts. Let's... So this, these two I just kept the straight lines on it and did some zigzag and straight and the sideways ones I just kind of went a little nuts <laughs> but they still look pretty cool oh these threads I'm telling you <laughs> I don't mind threads about maybe half an inch long but longer than that they start to get on my nerves uh, so I've got some gold paint mixed up but I do want to do a little bit of dot stamping on these because I don't really want to do other splatters so we'll just do just some few random spots for some interest I guess I know Barbara had put um, like a sentiment across hers I really don't want to do that because I don't really know where these will be going yet so I kind of just want to leave them a little empty for now. I don't know if I'll add something to them later. Okay, so the gold splatters I'm going to do. I use this Liquitex Basics Acrylic in gold. I have this container. I add some to and then I add some water to to thin it out so it splatters better. Might have to add a little bit more water. We'll see how that goes. And definitely going to use the box <laughs> because I always make such a mess doing this. So you won't really be able to see this, but. I 
I've had this box underneath my desk by my feet and it's full of cat hair because it's apparently a good hiding spot for kitties. <laughs> Honeybee's looking at me like, what are you doing with my box? I think I did too much gold already on some. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I got a lot of gold on <laughs> that one. Actually, it's this one that's like really, really a ton of it. So since these two have such big pieces, I'm going to try to dry this one with my heat tool. I think I want to put it opposite this, which I can't remember what that was for. So I'm just, let's see, which way do we want up? Since it's got the gold on it, I thought it might look kind of interesting with that. Mm, let's put it on this page instead. So I'm just gonna put some glue across the page because this is a little longer than the page and stick it down in the middle. So this page I'll definitely have to glue something on it to make it a little stiffer on there, but there we go, it looks so cool. Now we can tuck something in there, which, oh, that looks so pretty in there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my playlist linked down below of all of my other Scraps to Treasures videos as well as Sherry's and Maria's channels. And I will see you next month. Bye!